Morning everybody. I'm in uh, beautiful Denver, Colorado and uh, I've got my Renogy 200 watt uh, solar panel system with uh, the Wander. Um, it's right here. I went ahead and opened it up. The box was a little damaged um, so I went ahead and opened it up but I'm gonna um, go ahead and reopen it and show you guys what I've got here. So here's the 200 watt panel. Don't do that when you're opening it. Here's one of the 100 watt panels. There's two of them. Um, you've got your connections in the back here. Uh, you've got all the wires and everything in that box. I'll show you here in a second. Be real careful with these. I mean, they are heavy duty. You can feel, you can feel how great they, you know, how heavy and sturdy they feel. They have the aluminum, uh, you know, bracketing around the sides and they really do feel great. Um, you know, real nice, polished looking finish almost. Um, panels look great. They look sturdy. Uh, like I said, you've got your, uh, you know, got your system here to hook up. And then here's the here's the charger. It's a Wander. It's one of your basic uh, solar chargers, solar controllers. Uh, it comes with all the necessary wires. You got your cord here, cord here. This is going to be your positive and negative. And then you've got your connections here to the battery. So, comes with everything you need. Here's your, here's your connections to, uh, um, to run these in parallel or series, however you need to. Um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna run mine in uh, parallel just because um, there's a lot that goes into that. Um, and basically, the easiest, way to, the easiest way to figure out what you wanna do is parallel, when they're in parallel, if one panel gets some shade, the whole system kind of loses voltage. Um, and in series, uh, if one panel loses some voltage, then, your other panel still continues applying that voltage, but um, basically it's better. You get less um, overall in series, um, in my opinion, just with my setup, I'll be in the sunshine. Um, and I've just got two uh, six volt, 210 amp batteries. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of research goes into that. Do what you think is uh, best for your um, application. I'm gonna be in, it's gonna be the summertime. And I don't think, you know, I'm gonna have to worry about that at all. But uh, I'm looking for maximum amperage, so that's why I did. Uh, that's why I'm running them in parallel. Did you get you know doubles the amperage? Um, voltage stays the same. So yeah, this is the connections. Here. These are the connectors for the um, to go from the uh, to the to the controller from the solar panel, and these are the connections from the controller to the battery. So I'm about to. And here are the L brackets. You can see aluminum. They look real nice. Super light. Um, you got your fasteners here, bolts, fasteners, everything's in the bag. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, you got some self-tappers, and I'm guessing these are to the for the panel to uh, secure the panel to the L, uh, Z brackets. But yeah, these are real nice. Aluminum, um, super super light. So. As you can see here, I'm up, I'm up on the roof. Um, I've got a much bigger area than I thought. Uh, this, is, this is super clear. Um, you know, I don't know what I thought was gonna be up here, but um, I've got plenty of flat surfaces. And in the future, um, one good thing about this, this controller is I can put up to 400 watts. So my current 200 watt system is, uh, is just half the potential of that controller, um, which is all I need right now. But in the future, I'll, I'll be able to add more panels to it because I've got the space um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and install um, the panels on, on this right side or the left side um, I'm gonna choose a side for now because uh, you know I I want to be able to have uh, the panels close to each other first of all um, and I was thinking about putting a paddle board on the top here maybe a bicycle um, a couple things so yeah I'm gonna run these panels right here probably right in the front 
Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like I measured out, uh, you know, the panels are 42 and a half inches long by uh, 20 inches wide. Um, so I got plenty of space to run these sideways. Just let them sit right here or right here. I'll, I mean, I actually, I'll probably end up running right here that I can run a wire straight down to the battery, which are pretty much right here um, or right here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the roof, which is just gonna be me cleaning it off. Um, but yeah, checking your sizes and finding a placement is pretty important. Um, just to make sure you, uh, you know, once you start drilling holes, you got room for everything. So I'm gonna set everything up and um, clean it up. So here are the tools I'm gonna use. Um, I've got uh, just some gloves. I bought this off of Amazon. It's just a little um, housing for the wires to go in. And that way I'll be able to um, have a clean um, seal on the roof. I've got some lap sealant, some Dicor lap sealant, just some extra silicone. I got some flex seal to put on top. Um, I heard this stuff's real good, so I'm just gonna, after I'm done everything and it dries, I'm gonna throw that on there. Um, got my drills, caulk gun, um, just some tape. Don't plan on using that, hopefully. Um, got some zip ties, and then just some different, you know, drill bits and different attachments and things to kind of help me. And then I have a box of these just electrical, you know, different electrical uh, attachment pieces and things like that. And, just some stereo wire in case you know I need that. I don't plan on using all this stuff, but um, got to be prepared. Also, I got this Craftsman 230 piece mechanics tool set. It's awesome. And I'm able to do pretty much everything I need to with that. Um, and with, along with the, the drills and, and that tool set, I'm, I'm pretty set. So this is kind of what I got going. I'm, I'm gonna go up and clean the roof and start preparing where I'm gonna put the panels. As you can see, I've got my spots cleaned out. I drilled my hole for my uh, positive and negative wires um, coming from the solar. I've got this nice little cap I got off Amazon. Keep it nice and clean. I'll drill that in with a couple number eight fasteners and then seal the whole thing. And I'll seal that hole before too as well. You know, put some die core in there. And like I said, I've I cleaned the spots on the roof where um, where I'm gonna drill. It looks like it's just this uh, aluminum. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I've got these these uh, little anchors. Um, this is what came with the, the set uh, to, to screw the Z brackets down. I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna see if I can fit that inside of here. If not, I'll go, uh, I'll go run to Home Depot and grab um, some bigger anchors. But I, I think I'm gonna need some anchors for this. Um, even though these are self tappers, it looks like I got a long way until I get to the. Um, it's just insulation. You can see it's just insulation down in there. So um, that one one's not going to hold great unless I have a, a decent sized anchor kind of holding it in place. So um, I'm going to see if that fits in there and then start the uh, start to pre drill the holes and rock and roll. All right. So quick update. The um, the aluminum is not going to hold these guys down. These. Uh, these these through fasten um, these through uh, these cell tappers. So what I went ahead and did was I got some quarter inch stainless steel bolts and some galvanized uh, washers, and then I'm put you know one wash on the top, and I'm gonna go from underneath under the roof, and I got some some lock uh, some lock nuts. So um, yeah, I'm gonna use some two inch uh, lock nuts or two uh, two inch bolts with some lock nuts and I use, when it when it was stainless steel, um, you know, just for longevity, you know, they rust slower. Um, and so, uh, yeah, this is how I'm gonna screw the uh, panels down just with this situation. And I'm gonna go from underneath. Uh, I think I'm gonna set a, a socket ratchet, a ratchet on top to hold this, uh, the hex down and go underneath with the impact and screw that in. Um, so getting ready to drill the holes in. installed I'm keeping the sun off of them 
so they don't carry a charge right now. I've got them running parallel, but there's the these die core sealant. I got those running, and also you kind of see where I got the wires running down. Got that nice and caulked up, um, and then I'll show you underneath. So this is inside. I've got some washers hooked up to uh, the uh, lock lock nuts and then you know hooked up to the bolts and then here's my where my wires are coming through those are going to run straight down to this box in here coming through got to clean that up and then coming down into here where the controller will go controller and the batteries and everything are going to be in here so So here's my final setup. Got my batteries here. I've got uh, my controller. So the, the bottom, the two on the left are the wires, wires run into the solar panels and the wires on the right are going to the battery. I've got a AGM battery. So I've placed the green um, icon there for sealed. Um, yep, and so here are, here's my batteries. I've got my green um, ground going to my truck ch chassis. I've got, this is going, this wire here is going to my camper for the internal lights. Um, this, this is going, this, this is just the ground. So I got, I got all, everything kind of hooked up to the ground. Um, and the pods over here, I went ahead and put a um, 100 amp fuse bus right there um, before I connected the solar panel um, positive um, connection and these are running to my uh, my lights and my interior lights I went ahead and put a, a 20 amp fuse on there um, just in case there's something happens um, I'm covered and same with this this already has a fuse built into it this is the exterior lights um, so yeah like I said I've got these running in parallel um, got my negative there my positive there um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything looks like it's running, um, running well. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, I already tested all the lights and everything works pretty good. Um, see, I've got lights work, interior lights work, um, exterior lights work. So I think we're good to go. I just need to hook up. I have a, a battery, um, meter coming in the mail from Amazon on Monday. So I'll hook that up uh, just to test battery health and things like that. So that's it. Thanks. Bye.